Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas. I'm making you a dumber drawing. I'm Nathan. I'm Willie. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. Guys, <laughs> it's the first recording of 2019. Spoilers. <laughs> it made me laugh just how fast Willie was. Well, because really I was I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to interrupt Nathan. Oh, but, but I. But that off, I often do that, and yeah. it usually just it just doesn't get used, and is said, "Hey, no, that's that w- just that's just disruptive, Willie." That one was good though. Uh-huh. It was it was a high energy, uh, speedy delivery. Uh, yeah, this isn't the first episode to be released in 2019, but it is the first one to be recorded in 2019. So we're yeah. caught up. We got I hope that everyone is year. enjoying their May. I hope. Yeah, <laughs> I hope everyone <laughs> everyone's having a good summer vacation. <laughs> I hope everybody had a, had a good Fourth of July, America. What are we doing? We're doing phobias. We're, we're doing phobias. We're doing phobias. We're doing so phobias. What we, I have is yeah. three phobias with their phobia name. Mm-hmm. So blah 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 phobia. Right. Mm. And then you is guys that are gonna the, is that the one Nathan's drawing? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the yes, fear yes. of blah blah blahs. Blah blah blah. Actually, although I will say, so I'm gonna read them out. Uh huh. And Nathan, you're going first. Yeah. All so right. we're we're gonna try and draw the phobia based on the name, and I'm gonna try and pronounce the phobia based okay. on the name. Okay. Um. So Nathan, your phobia is lycopersicoaphobia. Lyco lyco lycopersicoaphobia. Lycopersicoaphobia. Of course. I think I don't know how it's actually pronounced, Lyco- but I think I just knocked okay. it out of the park. Persicoa, isn't that a place that people go on vacation? I don't. I'm thinking of Pensacola. You're thinking of Pensacola. Pensacola. <laughs> isn't that also? <laughs> <laughs> Lyco Pensacola phobia. <laughs> You're scared of werewolves from Pensacola. Yeah. I mean, I am. I would be too, probably. I does, I'm scared of werewolves regardless of their origins. But then Pensacola werewolves is a whole nother thing. Are werewolves scarier than just regular wolves? Yeah, because they have the bloodlust. They have the bloodlust, and also they've got like reachy arms. Yeah, they have reachier arms, and they, they wish malice upon you. And aren't they bigger? They're bigger. They're, they're, pre- bigger. they're pretty big. Okay, so you guys are of the of the like werewolf is like an anthropomorphized wolf, not yeah, a yeah. wolf. Because I, I I always got pissed off when wolves werewolves were just wolves. Yeah, that's, like, that's always that's boring. boring. Yeah. yeah. Also, werewolves have like the unique horniness of a of a human man. And that oh makes yeah. I think you're thinking scarier. of teen wolf. Yeah. Teen wolves definitely got the horniness of a human of those man. Teen wolves. So this is a fear of teen wolves, is what we're saying. Uh, this one, I'm from I, Pensacola. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like, uh, I'm stalling for time by just drawing like a scared person. I can tell you what I thought, Nathan. Okay, tell when me. I heard the name. Yeah. It sounded like it was the fear of werewolves being persecuted. Aww. So maybe you're pro werewolf and you're like, I'm scared of werewolves getting persecoted. So it's like a persecoaphobia? Yeah. That sounds like something I said. Like a persecoaphobia. Did I say it differently that time? That sounded pretty similar to what I said. It's in when that... you're scared of horny teen werewolves from Pensacola getting persecuted. That, Draw that. Though in the way that Willie just said it, it sounded like a person cone. So are you scared <laughs> of... No. <laughs> oh. People cones. You're scared of things that are like person yeah, cones. Yeah, maybe a person, yeah. like my first thought with person cone is that this guy just got surgery and he can't chew on his own balls. <laughs> so someone put a cone over his head. <laughs> okay, okay, let's so get. So is this werewolves with the little, co- like werewolf just got neutered? We got a lot of ground to cover okay. here. Yeah. Definitely that. Definitely that one that, that you guys said. It's, so there's the cone. There's the co- Like a person cone. <laughs> so it's got the surgery cone on. Yeah. Because you got to get your werewolf uh, spayed and neutered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're too horny. We already established that. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're so horny. But they're also so- just people. <laughs> Imagine being a, I was going to say a dentist. What's an animal doctor? Vet. A, vet, a veterinarian. <laughs> Imagine a veterinarian. Ooh, a veterinarian. A vet. It's a vet. <laughs> Um, what um? Oh, sorry. I was going. gonna say, imagine being a vet and then neutering a dog and then waking up the next morning and having a person because it was a werewolf. Yeah, and that person's like, "What did you do?" Uh-huh. And they were like, "You were too horny." Yeah, you were too horny. Sorry, dude. Everyone agreed. We took a vote. Everyone said you were too horny. We had to do it. That's what America has come to: <laughs> voting on neutering. It's Cut that like out. a person cone. It's like a person cone, but it's not. It's a like a. It's a lichen person cone. It's a lichen person cone. It's a lichen person cone in Pensacola. And, in Pensacola. <laughs> what? Is, where is Pensacola? Florida. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I am definitely assumed it was like 
Texarkana, where it's like Pennsylvania and like Colorado. Oh, the, yeah. The, like the line between that, which I'm now realizing does not exist. That that would make sense though in the name. Yeah. Pennsylvania and Colorado is that what you said? So it's just all states between <laughs> them yeah, yeah. are Pensacola. <laughs> The Pensacola region the, the, between Pennsylvania and Colorado. I the most specifically named uh, few states. Yeah. <laughs> well, the two big ones. Really, Pensacola just sounds like a brand of soda that you only drink in Pennsylvania. Ooh. Yeah, it does. It, but it would be called like Dr. Pensacola. <laughs> like, I really do want to lean into states being more of a thing. And uh-huh. like every state has its own soda that you have to drink per state. And like everything else, you know. I guess I'm arguing for states' rights right now. Good, uh-huh. <laughs> but only in the cola. But only sense. for yeah, cola. Only yeah. for cola. Well, because some states it's Coke, and some t- states it's pop. And no, pop is wrong. If you say pop, pop is wrong. Yeah, soda we're, is correct. Soda, soda, cola, I will also accept. I say Coke. Cola's fine. I think Cola's cola sounds it's like not... a, it's like a robot trying to fit in with ordering drinks. Mm-hmm. I will have a cola. All right. <laughs> Well, we've we've alienated up, uh, our, our our entire uh, Midwestern uh, good and and Dakota's <laughs> fan base. 2019 is the year we get rid of <laughs> Here, all the Midwestern fans we have. Here's something: I think pop is good. No, I think pop. I you think you believe? That. I like I like pop. Yeah, I don't I think you have to leave. I don't say yeah. it, but I think it's I think it's fun when other people do. I mean, I call my dad pop, so mm-hmm. like someone like I want to drink a pop right now just sounds gross to uh-huh. me, you know? Yeah, it's offensive to I Willie. I just think of my father. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Willie's dad. What would New York's soda be? I've been trying to think New about York it. New York had a soda. It's shut up. I'm drinking this. I'm drinking here. I'm drinking here. here. Hey. Probably be I'm drinking here. <laughs> Fizz get about it? Fizz. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, mm. The other angle I was thinking was just something like you know piss garbage yeah. or something like represents no that would be New the, Jersey the smell and vibe Ooh. piss garbage wow. is New Jersey. shots fired wow. Jersey to the state <laughs> alienated by this episode yeah let's see if we can get them all we're gonna the, the 20, Garden State 2019 is when everyone realizes we're bad and <laughs> we've got nothing to offer we but come out as bad we come out as bad uh-huh. yeah. Finally, let everyone know so we're the bad, bad boys of we're the so internet. Bad. I, we're so bad. Let's be bad. <laughs> New York would be the worst tasting like energy drink soda coffee mixture thing. With cocaine in it, probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it just like it smells like hot trash and it tastes like hot trash, but, but it does keep it gets you, you through the day. Moving. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like monster with like cigarette butts floating in it. <laughs> That's but exactly like, what it is. Everybody that drinks it in New York swears that it's the best, and that yeah. none of the others compare. Yeah. So it's like kombucha meets monster energy. Yeah. yeah. You're like, you just, you get, you know, you get used to the taste. And once you do, man, it's just, so I can't good. imagine I anything can't. else. Yeah, nothing really replaces it. What's something I can do to make this Pensacola? I was just going to say it reads Pensacola pretty obviously right now. Okay, great. Like, then I, I think then I'm you, done. If you saw that without context, you'd be like, that's Pensacola. That's Pensacola. What if the, the kid is holding in his other hand a Pensacola? He's he's just well no the the werewolf must because the kid's afraid the werewolf oh, yeah, okay. the werewolf is holding the werewolf's holding a Pensacola a Pensacola it just looks like this werewolf just walked up to this boy yeah he's just like wanted hey. a conversation <laughs> hey um you hear I'm, about this new soda you hear about this new soda I uh, I can't I'm having a hard time sort of getting around because I got this this cone it's, on my it's head it's like a person cone it's like a person cone but it's not well it's a lichen. I'm a lichen, so it's a lichen person cone. And so, the whole time this kid's just going, ah! <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> so, Nathan, are you, uh, you're more or less wrapping this up then? Yeah. Uh, so, can we know what it actually is? Will oh, you, have you guys got it exactly right. This picture, no, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I was like, wow! It's, uh, I chose it specifically for Nathan, so it's fear of ketchup or tomatoes. Wow! Oh. Wow! That's not this at all. <laughs> You're way off. Guys, also, would don't... you believe this is what I see every time <laughs> someone puts tomatoes on? Well, now I know that that's me. Mm-hmm. That you. It me. Someone else draw. But it, it me now. All right. It Jacob. Jacob, you ready for your phobia? Your phobia is theophobia. <laughs> 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 oh, if only we had a like a face cam on Excuse Willie because that was wonderful. Physiophobia. Physio. P h t h 
I S I O P H O B I A. I guess so you were on. right. That's the best word I've ever heard. You're not allowed to do a P H T H. That's forbidden. P H T H. Physiophobia. Physiophobia. Give me what's after P H T H. I S I S I O I O phobia. Phobia. Okay. Okay. Everyone watching this at home has already seen the word spelled. Yeah, but I needed to see it. Because how else? I would never have guessed this was how it was spelled in a million years. Uh, um, Fissio. Okay. I, if you guys watch, Fissio. like, watch my Google Doc just have been, like, misspelled. And like, <laughs> just, like, this is just, like, not right. The, <laughs> these are phobias according to Willie. Mm-hmm. All right. Fissio. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, like, a Nathan tactic here, and I'm going to start with a person start who's with the, scared. Start with the scared person, and then let us sort of build out the yeah, world. Yeah, while we kind of build this, while we craft this vision. For you, the viewer. This fearful. D- I'm trying to like friend churn anything out of this word, mm-hmm. and the only like word in there is this. It's this. And then I O. Uh huh. So it could be like a fear of technology. This, this operating system. But then what's the P H for? It's a doctor it's, who's uh, uh, scared of technology. Or P H like acidity. So uh. maybe it's fear of like. A phone's battery acid. That's, oh. That could be. It could be fear of um, just like sort of toxic people online, mm-hmm. which I think is a pretty healthy fear to have. Yeah, I would say that's probably good to be afraid of. Except for me. Still follow me. Yeah, still follow, follow Willie. Still you. follow Willie. To me, this seems like the fear of catching just some stray saliva when someone talks. Because <laughs> they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fear of someone saying this name. Yeah. Like, in order to say the name, you must confront your fear <laughs> of it. Theophobia. If it's the fear of saying it, then I definitely had it because I was very yeah. nervous going in. You did give a little chuckle before you even Cause started. So, like I said this before, but I picked the phobias based more on what they mean than okay. what the word was. And then I, like, looked at the word and was like, there's a reason that we just say fear of. Yeah. Blank as opposed to Because it sucks to, yeah. to say this. Who comes up with these phobias? Scientists. Nice. And that's why we don't we're anti science. Okay. Here in twenty nineteen we're coming out as anti <laughs> most states and scientists. Good. We wait, most scientists or most states, comma, and all scientists. I think most scientists. Okay. I bet we could find an exception to the rule. So we still like Utah and paleontology. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the only ones. Those, though. Mm-hmm. And that that's where a lot of paleontologists live, right? Because they're all Mormon. Because they're all <laughs> You have to be a Mormon to be a paleontologist. <laughs> I like my paleontologists like I like my coffee. Mormon? Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm picturing like two two options Sorry. for this. It's either like a kind of snake. Like the noise that a snake makes, mm-hmm. or oh my god, never mind. Oh, Jacob's I've actually there. got I've got a couple directions. I'm gonna do both of them. Okay, great. Okay, great. Because I I really like this idea of just like a real spitty, <laughs> <laughs> just like. This is so I did just spit all over the mic when I did that. There's no way to make that sound without spitting all over no, everything. You just, yeah, you, great. This is the only word that you must say and spray simultaneously. Yeah, very so excited got, to use that mic after this. <laughs> yeah, it's just covered in just, saliva. Just get right up on it. Um, yeah, I want to get like the tongue kind of like flapping around here so it's like you can see the motion of it. Oh, good. I know who this person is based solely on the tongue that you yeah. on. <laughs> Some people have a very like tonguey personality. Uh-huh. Sure. I don't have a, I, yeah. You bet to say you don't have a tongue? No, I do, but my mouth is really small so you don't really see it that much. It's hidden in there, it's a little yeah. secret. I got a real tiny mouth. <laughs> Willie, <laughs> Willie's mouth secret tongue. Uh-huh. I got a second tongue underneath <laughs> my regular tongue, and his name is Mike, and we're friends. Aw. Mm-hmm. I would hope you're friends. More of like he a loves a tongue. A yeah. yeah. Mike tongue. There are so many bulges on this face, Jacob. Listen, I'm, I'm, I want him to be just right. <laughs> it's the first one of 2019. <laughs> What's his, what is it from the Goonies? Chunk? Chunks. 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 Wasn't it Chunk? Chunk. I think it was Chunks. I'm looking it up. I've never seen the Goonies, but Nathan, I know that you're wrong, and it's definitely not Chunks. I think it's Chunk. Do you want to know? Think, I think Nathan wants to say Trunks from DBZ. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's just thinking about Trunks, and I can't blame him for that. I think it's Chunks. You think it's Chunks? You want to know why? Why? Because I made a comic where the punchline is 
I've got to blow chunks. Mm-hmm. And it's a guy goes to the bathroom to, to, to do a blow to, job. To do a blow job on a guy named Chunks, and it turns out that joke had already been made, and <laughs> using the character from the Goonies. I regret to inform you, his name is Chunk. Well Singular. then they well then they messed up the joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny joke though. It's a pretty funny. I think <laughs> it's very funny. Like regardless, just to just to get up and be like, excuse me, I have to go blow somebody is a very good. <laughs> Good situation to find yourself. That's definitely in. a willy. That seems like a joke you would have written. Wait, 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 wait. You would have written <laughs> for oh. writing that joke. <laughs> I thought you were saying like, oh, Willie does that all the Willie time. Willie does that all like, the time. He's very polite. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, Papa. I must go blow some. <laughs> Might I be excused? Yeah. Dinner was wonderful. Give my regards to the chef. Now I'm off to go suck a hog. <laughs> We, uh, we've had our fair uh, share of good bathroom-based comics on College Humor. Oh, sometimes I just like to reminisce about the good old days, by which I mean looking at my like 2014 articles <laughs> that Nathan spent a week of his life drawing based on like a stupid, stupid joke that I wrote. Willie, do you remember Shake What Your Mama Gave You? Oh my God, that's my favorite. I love that. That's and a good the, And the, the punchline was that it's a stripper and it's they tell stripper. her to shake what her mama gave her and she shakes an Olive Garden gift certificate. <laughs> yes, I do remember that. And I, I made a full animated you gift. You made a full animated complete gift. Complete with raining down money. Everybody loves it. it Everybody a... in the club is so excited for the Olive Garden <laughs> gift certificate. Well, that was yeah. back when we were trying to... We, uh, Jacob and I almost created like a MCU style uh, universe based solely on just terrible puns that existed <laughs> and like because a lot of a lot of those comics that i would write were just like well fuck i don't know what to write today so it'd just be like a terrible pun and then like a lot of legwork to try and justify why that pun would happen so like with the stripper one the weirdest part about that is the fact that like it starts with this like very nervous like young upstart stripper and she's like i know i said i wanted to be a stripper but now i don't know if i can do it and it's like well that's not how that yeah, <laughs> yeah. We we would go to we, some we craft, lengths. We craft worlds within worlds yeah. in this job. This this wonderful uh, job that we have uh, making internet content. And now we have. I think the best way to experience a, a web comic is to have to hear it described. Uh huh. I I started us off on that trend. Well, you're you're being sarcastic, but I have another one I want to describe. Okay, do it. <laughs> Let's do uh, it. My favorite one is <laughs> I wrote one that was like two people at a cockfight. Yep. And they were really disgusted by, and they're like they're disgusted by something, and they're like, how can we keep going to this? This is so terrible. And then they changed the name to Chicken Fight, and then they can, everyone's okay so they're with like, it. they're like, that's much better. Yeah. It's much better. Yeah, it's because the word cock was in it. But I remember, was... yeah, our editors were like, why are these two people at a cock fight on a Friday? Like, they're just like two real normal looking guys. Just, yeah, they're just at a cock fight. <laughs> just Some... like, why did, well, how did they find themselves at this cock fight? Um... I love a comic that raises more questions than it answers, yeah. um, which is why Heathcliff is will always be my favorite. Okay. I have to explain myself on this drawing. Okay, yeah. Can you explain the drawing? <laughs> my initial thing I was gonna do was make it f this a phobia because that's mm. kind of like a way you can pronounce it. Oh yeah, mm, like f this a phobia. Like you're afraid of someone who just wants to say, you know, f this. Uh huh. So now I got both. It's this guy who's doing the spitties, mm-hmm. and this girl's like f this, and this guy's deathly afraid of both oh, of wow. those things. Oh wow, that's terrifying. So he's like, you know, he's really sweating because it's the fear of both of those things. If someone is really spitty and someone doesn't care, it's gross. Well, it's ultimate fear. It's both. They're a power couple. Yeah, they're a power two. couple. They are married. Let me <laughs> put a ring on her finger. <laughs> They are married. This is part of the comic <laughs> universe me and Willie were talking about. Yeah. Oh, I keep inviting them to my dinner parties, but they scare me so much. <laughs> they scare me so much. <laughs> Good. This uh, guy's also married. Willie, what does it actually mean? Oh, okay. Uh, you were close. Uh, it's fear of tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> That's so specific. I really know. close. Really close. You want to know what's weird, too, is tuberculosis was just part of the list of like, oh, this is like a fear that everyone knows about, but I had to search for what fear of tomatoes was called. 
because I was like, I want that. I mean, it makes more sense to be afraid of tuberculosis than it does yeah. to be afraid of tomatoes. Yeah, but it's I'll, like, I'll admit that. It's like saying you're scared of murderers. Yeah. yeah it's a like, little of course bit. you are. You're like, of course you are. That's reasonable. Yeah. It's not really a phobia. I guess yeah. it's a phobia of someone like sitting around being like, oh, no, this is the this is the TB day. It's Here it comes. Happen. I know it's going to happen. I have that little bubble, it's and like it's not going to go right. Wisconsin. You're not yeah. getting tuberculosis. Okay. Fuck you, Wisconsin. Add them to the list. <laughs> 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 All right. Let me they in. Say pop yeah, in it's Wisconsin. my turn. Hop in, Lepetit. Julia. Yes, Mr. Willie. Are you ready for your fear of whatever? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> My fear of whatever. Um, here's Love one. A little, a little hint. I'd say we probably all have this to some degree. The fear of Willie. Hygrophobia. Hygro? Hygrophobia. Hygrophobia. H-Y-G-R-O-phobia. Phobia. Phobia. It's like hydrophobia. It's like hydrophobia, but grow. But hygrophobia. Yeah. Okay. Turn that D upside down. Okay. <laughs> now I feel like I should have written my word down mm. because you guys wrote yours down. It's fine. Well, you done fucked up again, Nathan. Hmm. Yeah. Good so, way to start the year, Nathan. So I'm trying to parse <laughs> high grow. I just, I'm just thinking like it grow real tall. Yeah, you that's grow, it. You grow high. high. Grow. high, high I'm grow. scared of growing super tall. What if I get incredibly tall? and then I can't shrink back down. Oops. Is it a fear of you yourself growing t tall or like other people around you growing tall? Like you come into work one day and all your coworkers are really tall. Which would be worse? Would you rather be super small or super tall? Are mm. you like the only one who's super small like in the world? Yeah. I'd rather be super tall. Okay. Because then at least I'm not gonna get like stepped on and crushed. Mm. But I feel like if you're what super- What if you're into that? Oh shit. But also think about this like- <laughs> Oh yeah. boy. If you're super small though, uh -huh. like say you wanted to buy a car, you could just buy a remote controlled car. Mm. Oh, Stuart Little style. <laughs> yeah. I think I am just about to describe the plot of Stuart Little. You could date a bird. You could date a bird. <laughs> and right. if you so drop wait. something in the sink, you could help your dad get it out. So this is just you, you are super, it's not that everyone else is tall in this case, it's just you are a mouse Yeah, size. you're very small. It depends. I was at, which, yeah. I thought we were saying you like come into work and everyone else has suddenly overnight grown exceptionally oh, tall. No, so I the world like is that. still, you know, your sized. That would just end the world really quick, right? Why? Resources. <laughs> everybody Millennial. needs to, Everybody needs to eat more because they're tall. Yeah, it's the opposite of that movie. That'd be with good for Matt the. Damon. That'd be good for the economy, though. More yeah, everyone sizing. is tall. More people eating. Yeah, no. We we see who the real <laughs> capitalist is here, Nathan. Uh huh. Taking the economy before the planet. Wow. Wow. Stein wow. 2020. 2019, <laughs> Nathan, anti-environment. Anti-environment. <laughs> Anti-scientist. Pro-economy. Anti-short people. Wow. Anti-short people. I just think it'd be fun if it, all of a sudden everyone was tall. And I wasn't, and then they could all pick me up. <laughs> that is true, though. They could all pick you up. And that'd be pretty cute. <laughs> be, I, I would, would love like, to pick Nathan. Like, if you, when when Rafi reaches its next level uh -huh. and you start making Nathan plush toys, please uh -huh. send me one because okay. I would very much enjoy one. Yeah, I want one too. Hey, Julia, where'd that face go? Where, uh, why over go here. over there? Over here. Don't worry about it. I like this expression already. In that movie Bird Box about fears. Spoilers. Continue. <laughs> well, it's not. By the time this comes out, remember back in um, remember remember I still back live here. near around New Year's time but when Willie hasn't seen Bird Box. Whenever, oh, I haven't seen Bird Box. Oh, okay, then go away. Go ahead. Go talk. talk. <laughs> go away. Go away. <laughs> go away. Uh, I just said Bird Box so we can uh, we can tag it oh. and get that SEO. Bird Hashtag Box. Hashtag Bird Box. Because you know. It's about phobias. Three weeks from now, everyone's going to be hitting up those sweet, sweet Bird Box likes. Bird Box isn't about phobias. It, Bird Box comes in waves. Mm. In the trailer, they say it makes you see your greatest fear. That's not actually like that, in the movie at no. all. Wow. Which is, that? that's just some real bullshit. Well that's that's the spoiler. The spoiler uh, is. Way to spoiler it for us. It makes you see your greatest fear if your greatest fear is that you immediately kill yourself. Oh. Which I guess is a pretty big fear for a lot of people. Is Sandra Bullock playing her character from The Blind Side? Is it the same lady? She's, she's playing her character from Miss Congeniality too. 
I'm yeah. Gonna add, like, she uses like her guys. FBI and also runway modeling skills. Okay. First yeah. of all, she is a pageant girl, pageant not queen. A, and if you saw the movie, you'd know that she wasn't really a pageant queen, and she was a fish out of water. Well, yeah, Jesus but then she Christ. learned how to be a pageant queen. She much as she taught everyone else how no, to be an FBI. No, she didn't agent. learn how to be a pageant queen. She learned to not judge a book by its cover. I think that's why she won Miss Congeniality, because she was bad at being a pageant And because she grabbed a crown off of a woman's head and then it exploded the Statue of Liberty. That's a great movie. She learned how to be a pageant queen, and then she made all the pageant queens into the FBI, and they switched places, like trading places. The federal booby inspectors. They became the federal booby inspectors. Nice. And then all the FBIs became pageant queens. Oh, this is a cool as hell drawing, Julie. I like this. This is like a Alice in Wonderland when she eats the thing that makes her huge. Uh, Alice wasn't a boy, Nathan. That's true. <laughs> Willie's got you there. <laughs> Willie's just dropping truths. Yeah. I am. About movies, this whole this whole ep. This drawing man has unexpectedly high grown. Yeah. And now he too big for canvas. Yeah, basically. Is this what we're saying? Julia. Yes. Might I suggest a double definition here? Sure. Did this guy, you know, get real big unexpectedly, or did he grow too high and he thinks he's real big? Oh, like he got too high. Yeah. He high growed. He high growed. He growed too went, high. He went like into a small room and forgot. Yeah, he forgot he was just in like you know the cupboard. <laughs> he was trying to find the the snacks. He was looking for the rice crispy treats. He had treats. a little case of the munchies. Yeah, because he growed so high. He growed so high. Okay, you guys are saying this like a joke, but this is my deepest fear. <laughs> the finding thing myself in a cabinet while I'm high. And, and not knowing how to get out. <laughs> it's not that far out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> At least you got like food in there. I guess at this point he's already eaten it all. He ate all the Pop-Tarts that he found, and now he's worried about dying in here. Oh, Guys, wow. I'm, I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm moving, so I'm moving soon. Uh -huh. to LA and I'm gonna have weed legal for me for the first time ever. Oh, and nice. And since it's not been legal, I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I feel like I'd really like it if I, think, I did do it. I think you might enjoy it, yeah. yeah. and so like, I'm scared to have that access to it. Cause even though- Is that what the is that what this fear is? Is this an autobiographical one? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's why I'm, that's why I possess Julia to draw it. Did you know there's, if you look up the statistics, there's uh, 300 people every year that, that growed too high. <laughs> and it's really, it's really tragic, and I don't think it gets enough attention in today's you know, media landscape. Do you know someone who growed too high? <laughs> Adopt someone who growed too high today. Mm hmm and it's just like you. Sarah McLaughlin with like all these like people wandering around behind yeah. her, like looking around, terrified. Oh, Make sure you have a comfortable couch. <laughs> yeah. Tell them to just sit down and take some deep breaths. And just chill for a minute, and it'll be fine. Oh man. Put I on bet, some Planet Earth. <laughs> I bet if you were high though, Sarah McLaughlin music would feel good as hell. It'd probably make you too emotional. Yeah. You'd really be feeling it. Or I'd just like start picturing dogs. Oh, the dog. Yeah, if you associate yeah. it already with the dogs, which at this point, how could you not? I'd just stare at my own dog and be like, you are not that far removed from one of them. Because <laughs> she isn't. <laughs> Julia, can you make it clear that he's listening to Sarah McLaughlin music right now, yeah, too? Yeah, is there any way you could sort of visually, could add that, like visually add that indicate in? Maybe it's like a look on his face or something that makes you I know. I think it kind of already does. It kind of already does. I think it's made some wateriness to the eyes would really. Oh, there yeah. There it is. Mm. Oh. Yeah, pooling right oh. there. Oh. I had a whole this cool is... drawing planned. I had a you're, whole cool drawing planned. You're still doing it. You're, you're still, still drawing a cool drawing. What, what was, what was going to be, what, was, what were you going to do? It was going to be a cool, I was going to end it on a spooky note. You can, can still. Can you just nah. add a badass <laughs> dragon? It's ruined. <laughs> No. Well, I want to know what the spooky note was. What was now. it? What was it going to be? Yeah, still well, do it's, it. It's hard to explain. Don't twist it. <laughs> Don't tell us. Just do it because I want to see. Can you add a little bit of it? I can't. <laughs> Why can't you? We're a little far removed from where I was going to go. Hygrophobia is the fear that you will have an idea for a drawing and then won't do it because your friends were doing it a goof. We're and doing a bit. I'm sorry, to... Julia. I thought the point of the show was to have fun with your friends. <laughs> nope. And make even dumber drawings. Send me to jail, I guess, for wanting to make jokes with my friends. Send me to cupboard jail. Send me to cupboard jail and take out all the Rice Krispies. <laughs> yes. I mean, you guys are joking, but if that was what cupboard jail is, that's really fucked up and 
sent should be illegal. Yeah, that's yeah, bad. It's a yeah. cruel, cruel and unusual. Did you know that 300 people every year get put in covered jail? <laughs> and I don't think enough attention is drawn to it that's in what, the media. That's what the movie 300 was about. <laughs> <laughs> this is covered. This is covered jail. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and you kick them in the cupboard. And it's like slow motion of them going into a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, I'm sorry. That's not the time for it yet. Oh, who's this? Oh, this is, this is a little friend. Is that Sarah McLaughlin? Is that Sarah McLaughlin? <laughs> She's singing to him right now. Is this the spooky part? No. That's a pretty spooky stance that tiny person's in. It looks like a little. It looks like a little gingerbread man. Is it a gingerbread man? It's not a gingerbread man. <laughs> what? Can you draw a gingerbread man? I can draw can a gingerbread, add a gingerbread man, man if you man wish. Real quick. <laughs> like a real cool gingy. <laughs> What if he's like eating one? Yeah. Yeah, just slip a cool gingy in there. I mean, he's so high he got a gingerbread man, but he has no idea where it came from. Wait, but is it a gingerbread man or is it just a little man? Oh, oh no. is that the spooky part? Was the spooky part just like a goblin? Because <laughs> I want to see that. It's just a goblin. Well, I have a question well, for he's you. Go- he's gobbling up this cookie. Yeah, nice. he is. Can I ask a sincere question to a room full of artists? Okay. Yeah. If I said draw a goblin, would you like know what to draw? I know what I would draw. I know what I would draw. Okay. But I think it would differ from person to person. Yeah, right? What the hell's a goblin? I what? think you're describing the premise of the show, by the way, <laughs> okay. which is where you ask us to draw something and we all say, yeah. And well, then we try to do it. It'll be different. But it's not like a, is, is a difference between and then, so like you wouldn't They're have different. an episode called Artist Draw Goblin, Artists the draw... word goblin when you say it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that's been our show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know what I draw for a hobgoblin. Oh, I think it's a I'd, goblin wearing a tie. I think I just draw a goblin. <laughs> right? I draw the, the Calvin Hobbes, and, but Hobbes is a goblin. Is, right. is that what you would do, Nathan? That's, I would just thought of that. Nathan, that's adorable. It's like a, they're on the log, and so the Calvin's a regular goblin, and Hobbes is a Hobbes goblin. Hobbes nice. goblin. All right, well, I'll be back in 2020 where we can draw goblins from memory. Well, hey. we'll have to remember what we said in this episode. Julia, no, what? Wouldn't. Julia, what was your idea? What? Yeah, I, I do want to know. It what... was just going to be a, a cool drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I've drawn this shit show. <laughs> She's so disappointed in us. Julia, I feel like I should remind you that just because I say, can you make him look like he's listening okay, to Sarah McLaughlin? Okay, but if I don't do what you say, I get my Twitter feed just inundated with fucking Vegetas. Oh, well, that's going to happen no matter what. Yeah. Can you add a Vegeta real quick? You, you, you have the power. Oh, is hygrophobia fear of Vegetas? It's not not. Do you guys want to know what hydrophobia is? Yeah, tell us is? what it is. Hydrophobia is fear of dampness. So oh. it's like hydrophobia, but like not quite. Not quite. Yeah, it's just lesser. Just damp. It's just damp. Yeah. That Vegeta's stuck right on that that's, dude's butt. That's hard. That's hard because like. Is he in like a dollhouse? Yeah, he crammed himself into a little dollhouse. And he, with his and he thinks doll? he thinks it's a real house, and he's like, "Holy shit, I'm so big, dude! So I'm many, so big, dude! Please. So many things are a little damp. That's yeah. got to be a hard life if you've got hygrophobia. It's like summertime's out. Yeah, socks you can't do in that. the winter. Socks in the winter. Yeah, if it rains. When my and, dog pees on a carpet. Yeah, can't, can't do that. Can't just do that. just any dog's mm-hmm. nose uh-huh. is a little damp. Oh, but they're so cute. I know. You so, can't get a little a little boop. Oh. A little boot from a dog is a, is a death sentence. A death sentence. You will die. Is it an actual gingerbread man that he's eating, or is he just eating one of his dolls? I drew it as a gingerbread man. Well, Can he looks kind of similar to the doll. They have pretty similar yeah, looks. Me. Julia, I know you said you were going <laughs> to draw a cool drawing, but I still think this is a cool drawing. Yeah, yeah it is a cool drawing. There you um, go. He's, he's eating a doll. I like that the doll is frowning. Like, well, this well, isn't this what one's I frowning, to do. too. They're, so they're, they're both upset with the situation. It's sad, sad dollhouse dolls. Why does he own a dollhouse? Well, maybe he's in someone else's house, which is also freaking him out because he doesn't know where anything is. That's terrifying. It's a bad trip. Yeah. This guy's having a bad trip. This guy's having a bad trip. Wait, so he just wandered mm-hmm. into some strange child's room and got lost in their dollhouse? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. That's really scary. He crawled in and he was like, oh my God, I'm so big. Yeah, maybe Holy the real shit. fear is, is coming into your room and seeing a grown man curled up in your dollhouse <laughs> to Sarah McLaughlin to use it. It seems more reasonable. And eating your dolls. <laughs> Maybe that's hygrophobia. Oh, <laughs> guys, I got think these little tears. I think 2019 is going to be a good year. This has been Drawfee. If you want more content, 
can check out Dropout. It's international now, and we also have an app, but the app is only in some countries, so make check to see which one it's there for you. It's also only available in some states, the ones we like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Lucky true. Wisconsin. Yeah. If you're in Wisconsin, you ain't getting you don't, on Dropout. You don't get, yeah. I'll tell you it's that inter- right It's now. available in every country <laughs> and, and every state except <laughs> Wisconsin. Uh, no, it's there too. You guys have a Twitch. We Pe- do. People yes. Should, people should check out your Twitch. Me and Julia run a gaming Twitch called Secret Sleepover Society. I also yeah. have a YouTube channel. Willie's got a YouTube channel. It's Willie Muse. I don't really know what the videos are going to be, but... Well, if you're interested in, in phobias and things that are spooky, there are a bunch of episodes of The Spooky Show on there. Uh-huh. That's People true. can watch if you they haven't already. It. Leave a suggestion of what you want to see us draw next. We're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. <laughs>